I work for the Klein Group. I'll tell you a little bit more about us towards the end of our presentation. And I'm the Managing Director of Europe, uh, Middle East and Africa, and Chief Strategy Officer there. And this presentation is how to target the U.S. market, something a lot of you are probably interested in. And it was talked about before already. If you don't absolutely have to be there, um, you're better off waiting until your product is well known enough there before you go in and, uh, and, and uh, establish a marketing or a sales office. Um, know your competition. You might, it might be, there might be very little market share left. You have to push people out of the way. You, you want no hidden costs. Research everything. And the market potential cost could be more expensive depending on your industry. And um, you might have to pivot. You know, consumers might behave differently in the U.S. from how they do, you know, where you're based out of. Same thing, your industry might work differently over there. Um, be willing to change your business model. Be willing to uh, strike partnerships you didn't know you needed. Uh, or add or subtract functionality. And it depends on the industry. If you're in ad tech or financial tech or e-commerce, you need to be there. You have to mock them too many doors. You can't do it from over here. But if you're um, like a B2B cloud storage, not so much. Uh, consumer facing businesses, the, the sooner the better. Um, don't, you know, be international appearing. Give the appearance of an American company. No .co.il. If you can't get .com, get .biz or something like that. And get a US phone number through Skype or through, uh, uh, and there's so many um, freelance uh, marketing copywriters. Get one of them, collaborate with them. You need an English website. If you've already written, written your own, great. But, um, but uh, you know, have them proofread it for you. Uh, hiring salespeople, you need to think about that. Um, salaries are typically higher over there. Um, relocating employees, there's a cost of getting them a visa, they might have families going with them, what's the, their housing situation going to be, and of course, office space. Um, whether you're B2B, B2C, or B2B to C, you want to develop the North American marketing strategy aligned with your business objectives and find the channels which are going to help you uh, achieve your business goals the fastest. And you'll probably want to do that through you know, more than one of them to make the most noise. But be prepared to spend some time and energy testing those uh, for what will work. And you'll probably arrive at a solution, a combination of both inbound and outbound ideas. <clears throat> and so next I'm going to talk about strategies for B2B and B2B to C companies. It's not that I don't like B2C companies. It's just that whenever I get a client that's B2C, I always counsel them to find the B2B angle. This is where the monetization is. And so these are strategies that will help you elevate your company and your leadership. PR, analyst relations, which we'll get into in 15 seconds in another slide. Uh, search engine optimization, have a compelling blog, and social media strategy that's uh, B2B specific. And so for PR, there's more to media than TechCrunch. You want to get into business publications, consumer publications, radio. Uh, and you, have, you should have more goals than just getting users or downloads. You want to put that clip, those clips on your website to attract other media and in your investors' decks to attract investors. Analyst relations works very similar. You get an interview, but it's called a briefing. And you don't get media coverage from it, but you get into important reports that cost a lot of money to buy, and acquirers and investors and partners can buy them. Uh, so you want to get in those reports. Um, SEO, you know, we optimize your website. Uh, inbound marketing, know all those best practices. <clears throat> the most interesting bullet here is the relationship with PR. Uh, the way Google works now, you know, you can't put shitty links all over the web. You've got to have good stories, good content, and PR gets you that. For your blog, don't write everything yourself. Spread it around. Make all your staff write one. Publish consistently. Google likes that if you get a new blog post every 9, uh, 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. And use news events for inspiration. Uh, and for social media, for B2B scenario, it's not about getting the most likes and followers. It's about um, lead, um, lead generation and um, branding and influencer relations, and these are your top four networks for that. No offense to Pinterest. Uh, the Klein Group, we are one of the only international PR firms with offices based in the States and um, Israel, and so we've got a big staff in the American time zone that can work in the American, you know, time zone with the American media and not have to do it from here at late hours, and you've got staff like me that can meet with you in person. Our overall approach is holistic, meaning maybe you take the PR from us, you're doing the social media yourselves, and you're doing uh, SEO through another Israeli firm. Everything needs to be going in the same direction. And we do that by starting with your business goal. We find out first, are you trying to increase valuation to, uh, for a big exit? Are you trying to enter a new market, like the topic of this presentation? Um, if you get all this great exposure, but it's not mapped to your business goal first, it won't happen. That's it.